And then from 2005, but collected in 2012, we have Marvel, X-Men, Phoenix, and Song, War Song Duology. I love this fucking set. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I do. I love, this is one comic that is definitely part of my childhood growing up. Yeah. Way fucking wild. I went too far. Oh, that was the end of it. Okay. So, I finished reading it. I still can't believe how dark that was for 2005. That was my favorite photo for a long ass time. It still holds up 18 years later. And I'm so amazed by how this panned out and how it came together. That was some cool shit, too. Art and story wise, I didn't even. Yeah, art and story wise, it still holds up. I didn't even know it led up to House of M's storyline. Yeah, I didn't know that. I had no fuck. It went over my head back then. And I was going to read House of M, too. Uh, I do need to read that sometime. Yeah. I, I'm actually going to go to the library tomorrow and see if I can reserve the omnibus or whatever's available for it. Hopefully they have the omnibus, but I don't know. That was a good scene. Oh, so good. And then Phoenix Returns and Avengers vs. X-Men. I read that story. I don't remember it. Fucking memory loss. There's all the collected editions you can get, which is pretty cool. Oh, my. I also recall a time when I was gonna get a Flame Phoenix... Logo tattooed on my left eye. Specifically that one. Oh my. <laughs> Man, I still love the story, but now that I know it's full details, I'm blown away. And the best part about this, it's a it's a collab. Yeah. Art wise, you got Top Cow Productions involved with this shit. Top Cow. Top Cow. Worked on a Marvel story. That's amazing. And I love this. This was so fucking beautiful. Oh, so, so good. Uh, let's see here. Jean Grey comes back via the Phoenix Force and leaves again. Emma Frost's eggs were harvested by Weapon Plus to make $1,000. And capable of destroying any mutants they came across by a mere thought. Yeah. So, yeah, complete lead up to um, House of M with Scarlet Witch. Oh, my. I still love the dynamic of Scott Summers bouncing between Emma Frost and Jean Grey. <laughs> Jean dies. He goes and fucks Emma. Jean comes back. He goes back to Jean and leaves Emma. Or Emma dies, he, cry, he cries and goes and fucks her. And you got Quentin Choir as well coming back. He's pretty cool. I don't know his story, but... Dude, the art for this. Like, this is so goddamn good and beautiful. I mean, how can you say this is trash? Somebody would say this is trash and I would laugh, their, I'd laugh at him. But damn, like, this shit holds up so fucking well. Oh my god, it's so crazy. <laughs> my head hurts from all this reading. Yeah, I spent six hours reading all these comics, by the way. So, yeah. It's amazing. But one of the best panels that I like... Well, all, I love all this. This is a good fucking story. I am definitely considering buying this, but my favorite one... Is that it? Oh yeah, that this one. Yeah, the blue... It's so beautiful. And then her with the white and gold. Oh, so good. This. The amount of detail that went into just doing that. That's impressive. Mm. But I like how it transitions from that to Top Cow art style. And I like It's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Phenomenal art and collab with Top Cow makes this an underrated gem in the 2000s. 11 out of 10. Can't go wrong with this. 
And this is also peak, like, sexual out sexuality for 2005 as well. Like, they pushed a lot in this shit. And you can tell. Like, fucking wild. But man, it's just absolutely nuts. And I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, I like Marvel and DC, but I'm very selective when I enjoy. But if you don't like Marvel and you don't like comics, it's not for you. But if you love both, you'll have a good time. I know people have their issues with X-Men and shit, but eh, it is what it is. And you can't really control people's thoughts on shit, so... No. Oh, but I have two more. Stay tuned.